What do you think is going on? Well, we did a survey, Nigel, with something like 50,000 of our supporters, all drivers, and we asked them, did anyone see that 5p cut? And bear in mind, when Rishi uh, Sunak stood up at that dispatch box, and on that day, uh, Kwasi and him wrote to every single retailer saying it must be actually shown at 6.30 that evening. Yep. No one saw that. Now, I understand people, uh, uh, retailers, and to give Gordon Barmer and the Petrol Retailers Association a little bit of credit here, they're not making the rip off of profits that people think they are. So I, I would hate to think people are going to go down to their garages tonight and actually shout at them and say, Where's, what are you doing with all this huge amount of profit? They're not making that. It's further up the fuel supply chain, Nigel. And that's the sort of thing we're investigating and looking at at the moment. But certainly, the 6p, don't forget it's 20% on top of the fuel duty, so it's 6p we should be seeing. That has not been noted. And the RAC recently in their report said they've only seen 2p drop. Right, so the RAC are very much on side with yep. you that yep. something is going wrong. And please explain something to me. 20 years ago, we were told <laughs> you must all switch the diesel. It will save the environment. And also, of course, you got more miles per gallon with diesel yes. on the long run than you got with petrol. You still do. Yes. Um, and actually, I remember when I first bought a diesel car at about that period, I think it was a penny cheaper. Yes than petrol was. And now it is, what, 15p more per well, litre? You're absolutely right. Before we were told to drive diesel, diesel was always cheaper than petrol. We're the only nation in the world now that prices diesel more than petrol. The, uh, yes, the only nation, certainly in Europe, we're the only uh, nation. And we're the, still the highest tax drivers in Europe, despite that 5 to 6p uh, invisible fuel duty yeah. cut. Um, so why the differential? Well, no one knows. This is the point. We're, we're, I'm working with backbench MPs, and hopefully not, it, we'll be making an announcement shortly. We want to launch a body called Pump Watch, a bit like Ofgem, Ofcom. Why mm. hasn't 37 UK drivers, 37 million UK drivers, why haven't they got some sort of consumer price protection? Why haven't they got that? Uh, we're looking at today, and I looked and before I came on to see you, today's fuel uh, uh, diesel wholesale price is 8p less than petrol. I repeat, 8p less. The wholesale price is less. 8p less. And yet, as you know, if you just go down any garage, you'll it's see 14... One, it's 182. It's 14p or, more. Yeah, 182 a litre at the moment, yeah. something like that. There's a 23p difference. And, and, and they're making so rounds... So it's not about availability. I mean, I, no. I, I know a fair bit of it is, 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 is of course, you know, uh, Russia is, is where, I'm afraid, so much of it's produced. But, but, but so you're arguing... I mean, y your suspicion is we're being ripped off on diesel, isn't I'm, it? I'm, I'm uh, they're using that as their cash cow to rip us off easily. Petrol is not so profitable at the moment. In fact, some areas, of, uh, I understand, they're losing money in the forecourts. But why are they doing this? What we want is transparency and fair pricing. When you drive into a garage and you hear that oil prices have gone up or they've come down, yep. you have no idea what you, the, the price is going to be at the and, the and there's a lag time anyway, isn't yes, there? Yes, there is. There is a lag time between what the spot price of oil is and, and, and you, know, you don't know uh, whether the chain have have bought forward on the market or what they've done. I mean, that's difficult to tell. Um, I think this really needs looking at. Yes. I, I actually think, Howard, having read up on it today, I actually think the differential between petrol and diesel is actually potentially a bigger scandal than 5p given to us in duty cut not being noticed. And we're going to write. Yes, this programme is going to write to Gordon Barmer. We're on quite good terms with him. We want him to explain, please, why this price differential, if Howard is right that the wholesale price of diesel is, what did you say, 8 It's 8 p and that's RAC foundation figures. Something is very wrong. Is this the biggest rip-off of modern time? Hey, inflation is bad enough without all of us being legged over. So that letter is going off to Gordon Barmer.